terms. Now then, my next guest, probably best known for playing the evil guy of Gisborne in Robin Hood and, of course, MI5 spy Lucas North in Spooks. He's continuing the all-action theme for his latest project. It's a gritty hostage drama based on Chris Ryan's book, Strike Back. I am hearing about a number of lucrative opportunities in Iraq. You know, private security contractors. I was thinking of something closer to home. Oh, sorry. Look, John, I mean no disrespect. But all of our recruits have academic qualifications. Look, I may have some driving work. Office security. Two of my best mates died for you. And others crippled for life. Well, Richard's here now. I'll tell you, it's, it's on Sky tomorrow, isn't it? It starts it is, tomorrow. Yes. The, we've seen loads and loads and loads of trails for it. They're really, really bigging it up. They've put a lot into this, haven't they? Yeah. It's, um, Sky are really trying to break into a, a sort of new area of drama, and I think mm. that they've put a lot of money, and you see that money on the screen, and, and they're being aired as, as uh, movies, two episodes back to back. I was going to say, when I watched it, it was very cinematic. Yeah. You know, it really was, and that's very high production values, obviously, yeah. which must be brilliant for all of you who are part of it. It's great, and we went to South Africa to shoot oh, yeah. it, so you see very much the landscape mm. and why we went there, and it looks epic, so it's really exciting. So tell me about John Porter, this same um, sort of hero type but flawed. Yeah, he's a, an SAS soldier who makes the decision not to kill a suicide bomber during a hostage situation, and that, that decision has a catastrophic effect on his life, and he loses his, uh, his job, his wife and his children, and he goes on a, on a, um, a journey of redemption. How many parts is this going to be? And do you see him being somebody who you could play again and again and again? Is there mileage in this guy? Yes, uh, it's six episodes which are shot as three uh, double stories, aired right. back to back, three movies. Mm. Um, yeah, and he, he gets his redemption. He, he gets to go back and, and, and rescue a hostage, Katie Dartmouth, who's a Sky News journalist, who's mm. also uh, uh, taken as a, in a, by the Iraqi um, militia. Um, you see him kind of come back to life right. and you see him go on that journey and find out what really happened to the suicide bomber. So, but there is, there's a lot of mileage here for this mm. character, I think. Do you like him? He, yeah, he's a great man. I, I, I wanted to make him somebody that I really aspired to be and give him qualities that, that I would want, you know, if I were a, a better person. And, and, you know, so I, I put him up on a pinnacle. But he's also flawed, you know. He, he's very aware of his own limitations. He's, he's disconnected from his emotions when he's in battle but then he tries to come back yeah. home and become a civilian and he can't fit himself back together so that was oh, fascinating for really me. Really interesting, really yeah. good to play as yeah. well. Um, lots of action obviously, yeah. do, you, do you love all that? Do you, did you have to train really hard? I did, I, I worked with a trainer in the UK in South Africa, we had three SAS um, soldiers that worked with us the whole time that we shot. So and what did they think of your attempts, were they alright? Um, I think there was a lot of raised eyebrows at the <laughs> beginning, I mean I'm a big gangly six foot two bloke and when you're trying to sort of move with the weapon and uh, yeah. you do look a bit silly sometimes but they're there to sort of you know pick you up and make sure that you do it do and did it you, well. enjoy, do you enjoy that aspect of it because yeah getting that detail yeah. right is really exciting for me because the, you know the best audience is, is, is an army bloke that will sit down and watch this and go yep that's that's right but that's I mean of course it's fiction and you've got to sort of, of make it look good for camera but uh, exactly I find but exciting. you want it to be true as yeah. well don't you you yeah. want it to be true because you kind of owe people like that you do you, you do owe you do. them you're telling you... their stories so exactly you've got to be so, so it has to be like that now as if that's not enough uh, filming spooks as well is that right yeah, the next we're, series we're halfway through series nine that has been phenomenally successful, hasn't yeah. it? It's, what I like about it is it's an it's intelligent drama, you know? Yeah. It's good and it's um, exciting and it's the edge of your seat and all of that. But you can't not you, you can't go away and make a cup of tea. You have to actually yeah. be there. Not that you'd want to, but you actually have to be there and, and you do have to think a lot and that's good. It demands a lot from its audience. Yeah, it demands a lot from its actors <laughs> as well, I have to say. I'm sure yeah, it I mean, does. It keeps evolving and I think because the political landscape, landscape is constantly changing, it's, uh, I mean, this year we, we bring in um, a lot of the new regime in America, we, uh, China um, mm. and uh, Russia working together. Um, and it's, this, this season is all about identity, who, who these characters really are and Lucas yeah. is not who you thought he was. <gasps> He's not who I thought he was either. Really? Which is really interesting. Well, that was when you were going through this, the script, did you go, ah! I did. Yeah, we sat down and had a meeting about it, and I went, what? What, what are you talking about? So, wow. yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's all about peeling back layers and finding out who these people really are. Big twist. Yeah, big, big twist. twist. You don't always play people like that, though, because people remember you had huge affection from the Vicar of Dibley yeah. as, the, as, the, as the totty, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. can't think of another way to, to put it, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, that was a different p kind of role for me. I really enjoyed it. I mean, we spent the whole shoot doing Vicar of Dibley 
you know, in fits I of laughter. So it was a real relief for me. And hopefully this year I'm going to get back on stage and do some oh, comedy. Fantastic. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah. So I spent too long being serious, don't yes. I? Yes. Really? Yes, yes, yes. Well, look, we look for Richard. Great to see you. We'll obviously be watching tomorrow's sky. It sounds absolutely fantastic. And Spooks, I'm very intrigued by that. Thank you. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you very, very, very much indeed. So, yeah, so you're you're going to be going on stage that's the, the yeah next hopefully thing. fantastic thank you great to see you right that's all for today do make sure that you're watching tomorrow and you have a lovely lovely day thank you guys bye